Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I swear every time I want to film, it's it's windy. So uh, we're kind of in a weird little section. Hope you guys can hear me. Uh, Max is winding in the background because he uh, he expected to be in the video uh, straight away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, just a second. All right. So first I want to say thank you to everybody for the, your continued support. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, the comments, the likes, the shares, everything, the people that are continuing to support, the new supporters and everything, it means it means the world to me. So if you guys support another small creator, just know how much it means to all of us when you guys do reach out to us, comment, interact, like, everything. It really does mean the world to us. So without further ado, let's get to today's video. So it's kind of part two of what I'm going to end up doing for truck camping for when it's, uh, I don't really want to say cold, chilly, cold, I guess, whatever. So when the weather's not the best and I don't really want to tent camp. So if you guys missed the first video where I talked about, um, what I felt were the pros and cons of having a truck cap or a truck topper. I know a lot of people have different names for it. Um, we're just going to call it truck camping and we'll just call this cab camping. Um, but go back and watch that first video. It'll go over what I personally think is the pros and cons of it. It may not be your pro and con, perfectly fine. So today we're going to talk about being in the cab of your pickup. Um, there's about three people that I follow on YouTube that actually camp this way. Um, I got two that are super small uh, creators and one that's a pretty good sized one. Um, I'm going to link the two smaller ones in my description um, because I know that the community that I come from, a lot of my subscribers are from that community and I know that we're very good about supporting um, a lot of the smaller people. And these two individuals are much younger than I am, probably about 20, 25 years younger. And we all like to support those, those youngins, the youngins of the, of the YouTube world and everything. So if you guys do, please go and check out a couple videos. You guys don't have to subscribe. If you want to subscribe, please do like, comment, help them out too. Um, they're really good uh, individuals. So without further ado, let's talk about truck camping. So I need to get the other side cleaned out. That's what you guys can't see. So since you guys can't help with that, I got to do this by myself. I'll be back in just a little bit and we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of being in the cab of your truck. Okay, well, here's con number one, which was actually going to be con number one anyways, but we actually found a different like con number one section, maybe one is Max is absolutely exhausted from being a dork all day because I've been working doing some lawn work and he won't get into the truck. So that would be con number one is that I have to pick up my about 140 pound dog when he decides that he's too tired for the day. So that's 1.1 or 1.8, whatever we decided. But as you can see, this whole section, this whole grate right here, if I go truck camping with Max and do it in the cab, this pretty much is all his spot right here. So when I'm driving, this is exactly where he is. So basically that one little tire there, yeah, that one little section right there, that'd be mine. Or I would have to sleep in the front seat, which that does not sound exactly comfortable. So con number one is it'd be hard to take Max with me, which that'd be very sad because I know he would want to go and it's just kind of nice to have him with me. So, hmm. Max, you're going to try to get up in here? Come on, get up in there. Get up in there. Come on. Get up in there. Load up. Load up. Nope. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, let's talk about Let's talk about, I think, the best thing about being in the cab. Um, so one of the things that I didn't like to, about being in a topper and everything was there's just one way in and one way out. And I'm a big four-door crew cab girl. Every truck I've ever owned has been crew cab. Um, it's not going to stop now. So having four ways to get in and out of the truck in case of emergency or actually kind of in stealth mode too, you gotta think that when you're in some random parking lot, especially as a woman, 
and you walk up to the back of the, your pickup and everything and you start opening that topper and then you get in, it is a little, uh, it's not very conspicuous, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Whereas in a truck cap, if you get in any one of the doors, it's really not weird. So being able to get into my driver's seat or get into the passenger seat and then crawl over is not really a big deal to me um, and make me feel a lot safer. And you'd have a lot of ways to get in and out. You'd have a lot more air. But that also means that a lot more places for people to get in, which I do have things to think about when it comes to safety and everything. I mean, I don't know that I'm going to do a lot of um, stealth camping per se. Um, this is more for when it gets too cold to be in the tent. And I'm not ready to do hot tenting just yet. Um, I'm kind of figuring out where I can do that and what the best tent's going to be for me personally. So working on a couple things for the channel, moving forward and everything. But right now, kind of digging the, the cab thing, except for the whole mask can't go with me. But, um, or if he goes with me, I'm a little squished. So have to think about that one. Um, I'm going to definitely need a really nice foamy because I can already tell these seats are not going to be very comfortable tonight to sleep on. But that's really not the point is if this is, is comfortable to sleep on, it's whether or not the setup itself, the idea of it is kind of feasible. So, um, let's think about a couple other things. So I'll see you in just a little bit and maybe get some, some dinner going. Uh, as it's windy as I'll get out again. So that might change what I'm going to have for dinner. So another thing you have to think about when you're camping in a high wind area. All right, guys, so let's talk about what it would look like if I ended up doing camping in the, in the cab here. So one of the things that I wanted to stick with was that I don't want to do any like overly huge builds. I actually really don't want to do any builds. Um, there's just a lot of people that don't have access to power tools like I do. Um, not, not just women, but there's a lot of young people in, in this country, in this world, really, that don't have access to the power tools to do a big, massive build and everything. So... I know a lot of guys, um, I think almost every single one of them has their seat out. No, nope, one still has their seat in it. And um, pretty much everybody has either taken just the bench part out or the entire seat out and then built a platform and everything. So trying to keep with that no build is going to be tough. Um, cause as you can see, these seats slant, so that's not exactly going to be very comfortable. So I may have to try to figure out something that the average person that maybe doesn't have access to power tools, uh, could figure out, could fashion or something. Um, I know there's a lot of places in different cities, different communities and everything that would be able to take seats out for people and probably uh build something for them but then again that goes back to access and how much money do you guys really want to spend on something like that so kind of something to think about because we know that a truck cap topper etc you know that's 3500 to 4500 dollars plus the truck and then everything that you outfit in it so doing a setup in the back seat would be massively cheaper and it just, there's certain things you give up with it and you have to just figure out if that's the way you want to go. And right now I still kind of, I'm still leaning towards this, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see and everything. Um, I'm going to get, uh, I think I'm going to get set up in here. I'm going to throw the sleeping bag in here. Um, I'm going to definitely need a big foamy. This is going to be not very comfortable. So whatever I do, if this is what I end up doing, um, it's probably going to be like a six inch foam, foamy in here to just keep it super comfy and everything and kind of figure out where to put everything else. So 
All right, so let's get set up and we'll kind of get maybe tucked in a little bit. Still have a couple hours left, uh, so we'll probably have maybe a drink and just kind of hang out with Max out here and enjoy the the lovely wind again. So, see you guys in a little bit. I'm trying to get Max in the shop too. <laughs> he always makes he always makes this difficult because he's he's got some squirrel intentions. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. Um, well, outside we're gonna call it a night. I'll see you guys back. Oh, Max, quit moving. Oh, okay, bye. Never mind. Didn't want you in the shot, anyways. <sighs> I tell you, if it if it isn't hard enough trying to do this just as yourself, having your dog try to be in it too is um, is very interesting. So um, no no whiskey tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna have uh, a peach tea by Zevia and everything. Um, my allergies are really kicking in right now, so I don't want to really be adding uh, whiskey on top of that. Although, it'd probably make me sleep better, and I know that that uh, the back seat is going to be very, very uncomfortable. Um, but I will... I'll probably watch the rest of this sunset a little bit, and then uh, I'll meet you guys inside, and I'll show you kind of what I come up with. Uh, sleeping arrangements, and I'll probably tell you... Well, I know I'm going to have a bigger foam me if this is how I end up doing this. Um, so, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, um, I don't think I said cheers. So, everybody cheers. Yep. So, see you guys in a little bit. Hey, get your nose down. Alright guys, here we are. We're in, the, uh, we're in the back seat. I got the sleeping bag in here and just kind of getting uh, set up a little bit and uh, I'm gonna flip this around so that I can kind of point out some stuff and everything um, I don't think I'm gonna sleep actually in my sleeping bag um, I think I'm gonna be warm enough I'm gonna sleep on top of it and then I have that um, extra blanket that comes with my sleeping bag uh, I think I'm gonna have that on top of me so hold on here let's uh, flip you guys so here we are flip that around all right so hopefully you guys can kind of see you're not really here. Hold on, let's move this light a little bit. Let's move, sort of, kind of, hmm, yeah. So this is what I thought was going to be interesting, was trying to figure out the lighting situation and everything. Um, so down here, um, obviously I can't point because I, I got the light in my hand. Um, actually, hold on here. Let me see if this will help a little bit. Eh, a little bit, not much. A little better. We'll figure it out. I got to figure out some, some lighting and everything in here. So we'll kind of go from, go from there. All right. So this is going to be the driver's side. Bam. Yep. So um, this sleep bag itself is a left-hand zipper, and I predominantly sleep on. My left side also so this will kind of be perfect for me um, to have my head this way and my feet down this way uh, that way obviously um, this sleep bag might be a problem in this space I really don't want to have to buy another sleeping bag or some sort of um, bedding or whatever <clears throat> just for this and everything this sleeping bag is super super long um, so I don't know how this is gonna work tonight um, but we're gonna we're gonna definitely give it a give it a try and we're gonna kind of go from there so let me switch back here so we can back over and then we'll throw this little bad boy back over here there we go it's funny how the lighting is so much different in different spots this will be an interesting uh interesting experience. I'm going to have to do a lot of research um, to be able to do this one and everything. Oh, that's got a serious reflection. Oof, that's kind of creepy. So, oh, we'll go this way. Alright. So, I'm going to sit. I'm going to watch a couple YouTube videos, I think. And uh, i got to let Max out one more time. Obviously, he's not going to sleep in here with me. And then I'm going to go get my uh, pillow. And we'll just go, go from there. And I just remembered I forgot the, I just forgot that I, uh, 
I have one of those indoor outdoor thermometers that I was going to set up. Not that it was going to be a big difference in, um, in the temperature and everything, but I was curious to see how warm it was going to stay. Cause obviously I just have my normal sunshade for my windshield and I don't have any reflectics on anything else. Um, these windows are pretty, pretty tinted though. This back glass is the, um, safety, security, privacy glass, whatever you want to call it and everything. So it is super dark. So, uh, we'll see how, we'll see how sleeping in here goes. Um, I think it's going to be interesting, uh, but we'll see. I'll see you guys in the morning. We're going to have, I think oatmeal and then I'm going to make some coffee and then I got to get going. Um, to my nephew's uh, home game for Legion Baseball. So, good night, everybody. I will see you guys in the morning. Um, all right, good morning, guys. Um, well, last night's sleep was probably probably one of the worst ones I've had in a long time. Um, <laughs> that is definitely going to need a very big foamy if, uh, if that's the way I end up going. Um, otherwise it's pretty, it's fairly feasible. Um, so we'll see. Um, now yesterday I was filming on my, uh, camera, uh, from, on my phone and work was blowing it up. So I kind of looked at the footage this morning and thought, mm, yeah, that was, that was not very well put together and everything. So, um, I'm going to go over a couple of things as I'm making coffee and my breakfast this morning and trying to figure out if Max is going to stick around. So, um, so we're going to get that put over there since that's super, super loud. So I went and found a company that um, met my needs for um, how environmentally friendly I wanted to be with my Keurig. So, hold on here. Are we in? No, nope, we're not in. Here, Max. Squish. Okay, why are we being? Difficult. Go the other way. No, it should be this way. All right. What are we going on here? Squish, 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 squish. Hmm. There we go. All right. It was just being. It was just being extra. So. All right. And I'm actually going to start my oatmeal first. So, I just got a little Kodiak um, maple and brown sugar. Um, I know a lot of people don't like these and everything. Um, I actually like it. I don't like a lot of um, sweet stuff anymore. 
So let's see. We'll through a cup. So I need about, mm, we'll just say three ounces. So, so we need about half right there. So, this so I can pour. Just try not to burn myself. Yeah, eh, we're a little more, but that's all right. I like my All right, so we'll kind of put that off to the side, let it do the thing. Come here, Max. Okay. And then do eight ounces here. Damn, all right. Okay. So. Stay over here. Come here, Max. It's over here. Good boy. Yeah, plus you know there's going to be ice involved. Uh, twisty, twisty. It's usually never this windy. Yep. All right. Stay over here, Max. Max is super excited because he is extremely spoiled, if you didn't know, and he gets ice cubes covered with half and half every morning when I make my coffee. So, and of course, we're not gonna we're not gonna stop doing that now. So. Doing where to put my spoon? There it is. Oh, that's pretty good. Can't remember a garbage bag. So, not bad, but I'm gonna doctor mine a little bit. Oh, you don't get any of that. You don't get any of that. So I like a little maple flavored uh, syrup just a just a little bit more because it's not it's 
not too mapley, and then I like a little bit of raisins in mine. And you can't have any of this either. Sure, make my take my allergy pill today this time. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah, you big baby. can't have any of this though, Max. Mm. 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 Alright guys, I told you I was going to kind of get my thoughts better um, together and everything. Um, yeah, that kind of threw me for a loop having to answer the phone so many times and being power called and power texted and everything. Um, it got really, really annoying actually. Um, but overall, let's see, what do we like about the cab? Well, it's small, so that means that I wouldn't have to heat as much area. Um, but that also comes with a con. Come here, Max. That one also comes with a con because then I don't have as much space. When I go camping with Max, I always take that big five-gallon jug of water with the uh, the manual um, hand pump and everything. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little tight for space if I do that. Um, obviously, I still have the bed of the truck to be able to to store stuff, but. If I'm doing this in the winter time and everything, I really don't want to get out of the cab because that's kind of what all the other creators complain about is when they're in the back of their truck and they forget something in the cab. Ooh, it's cold and you know, so. Come here, Max. Good boy. So, uh, space is gonna be, space is gonna be at a premium. Um, so setup wise, it's definitely going to need more of a build than I really want to do. Um, I don't know that like a six inch foamy is really going to take care of the problem. Now, obviously different years of Ford pickups are going to have um, different style seats and everything. Um, I'm not going to go with a, a King Ranch at that point. Max, get over here. Yeah, you come here. <sighs> for kids. Um, so I can definitely look at different, different models to see what the seats look like. Um, probably going to go with a Lariat. <sighs> I hate to say that I would go with an XLT. No offense to anybody who owns one. Uh, I, you know, you can call me bougie. You can call me persnickety. Um, everybody who knows me knows that I'm Lariat or higher. I do like some of the creature comforts of my pickup. Um, yes, I do use my pickup like a pickup, but I also like to have some, uh, luxury, I guess is, is what some people call, or, uh, I like to be pampered is what other people call, but call it, but, um, teach his own really. Um, so in order to take Max with me, I'd probably be, end up sleeping in the front seat, which I mean, that probably would have been a better night's sleep than last night's. So... I'm just going to have to think about that one. Um, B, 
being more conspicuous getting in and out of the truck is a giant plus for me especially if i'm traveling to like one of my sisters on the fly trips and everything and um, i'm just so tired and i need to pull over um it's just nice to be able to pull in and, and do a little stealth camping and everything so come here max good boy <laughs> Were you getting some water? Okay, my apologies. Sorry, he was getting water. So, so I pretty much have a lot to think about. Um, the added expense of getting a topper is kind of the big negative for me. Um, I know I'm getting another vehicle, so to find one with an existing topper might be kind of a hard thing anyways. I know that um, I've probably been looking for this vehicle whatever i'm going to end up with for probably over a year now um we all know that the the truck market's been just horrible now it is getting better um there are a lot more vehicles coming out on onto the market the pricing is getting a lot better i just you know if i'm going to drop sixty thousand dollars it's going to be my daily driver at that point and really i can't dro drop that much so hey get over here Come here. You just gotta sit here for just a little bit longer, okay? You're all right. I tell you. So, I don't know. It's a lot to think about, guys. Um, so, drop your comments. What do you think? What do you think I should do? And then also put what do you think I'm going to do? Because um, I'd like to see how close everybody is to what ends up happening. So, I think I'm gonna end this here. I gotta get going to uh, my nephew's baseball game. Uh, so. Love you guys. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. You know what to do. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Uh -oh.